All right, everybody. Oh, we're like right under a tree. The water today is crystal clear. Hopefully the fish are biting. It's uh, one of the coldest days of the week. We have a high of 45 and a low of 29. For our rig, we got the Go Fish Cam. I had to redo the foam because it wasn't sitting up as much as I'd like it to. We got it a little higher off the bottom today and a relatively long leader with our night crawler. Hopefully, I don't know, catfish, white birch. We're really looking for anything today, so we'll see. All right guys, welcome back. We started out in a little feeder creek to the main river here. This is a warm water discharge. The only thing that we saw on this drop was freaking gizzard shad. As you see, there's one that comes right by. Water was crystal clear. Then you'll see a pair of them over here to the left. And after about an hour of fishing, I know when to call quits at this spot and this was the breaking point. Now we are at a local pond that they just stocked with trout. Hopefully get something here. Um, it does get pressured pretty bad, but I'm hoping we can get a few fish on the goat fish cam. We're going to drop the camera with our worm in here and uh, see if we can get this fish. It's kind of deep right there. All right, as you can see, I am not casting very far. I basically just flicked that in there. And uh, this was a deeper, one of the deepest sections in this pond here. You'll see these bluegills slowly move in on the side. Take note of the mannerisms. This was the coldest day of the week. It was in the 20s in the morning. Fish were not moving very fast. You guys are gonna be blown away at how many species we see. Here we see a pair of sucker fish coming into view. So much life in this pond. On the, on the surface, I had no confidence in my bait at all. I had, confidence there was nothing down there but after reviewing the footage i could not believe how many fish there were there there goes a trout top of the screen looking at the worm a little bit just do not want to not want to commit. Comes another sucker, another bluegill. Look at this man, full of life. And there's some more. They were all over the place, guys. They could not leave the camera alone. They kept coming straight up to the camera. Oh man, look at that. That is what we were after right there. Big old brown trout. Here we got another one on the side. Another sucker fish. Look at all these fish, man. Wow. Oh man, I could not believe it reviewing this footage. Hey guys. On the surface, I was throwing a worm um, just on the bottom and I managed to hook oh this my fish. Gosh. <laughs> oh. That sucks. This was the second cast. I'm not sure why the camera made it so orange on this cast. Uh, so I kind of tried to fix that up as much as I could, but wow, the amount of fish on this cast is beyond me. Look at these trout. Look at them all. This is, I haven't even like tightened my line yet. Look at these fish.
There's some good ones in there too. They just wanted nothing to do with my worm. You can see the difference in mannerisms from trout and bluegill because trout are a cold water fish. They like the cold. Bluegill, not necessarily. Trout are swimming all over the place. Look at that. As a reminder, the only bait I had for this day was worms. Um, so if I had any power bait or anything like that, I would have thrown it for the trout. But I, all I had was worms today. I was trying to make a video focused on worms. That didn't exactly work out, but I wanted to show this footage to you guys. Here come the catfish. They had to join the party. Another big old brown trout. <laughs> Look at that. Here comes a little bullhead. He's hovering off the bottom there. Mixed in with the trout. God, look, look at the amount of fish back there, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Insane.